Hello again, this is Hans-Jürgen Clemens from Company Motic speaking. Today, I'd like to show you some details about our dark field solutions in our series of BA microscopes of upright transmitted light microscopes, BA 210, 310 and 410, respectively the elite versions of those models. In these cases, dark field can be applied in two options. The simple and the more economic one is to use a dark field slider. This dark field slider has to be combined with the standard condensers of BA 210 and 310. The more elegant turret solution works with the 310 and the 410. What is dark field? Dark field, the idea of dark field is to emphasize border structures, means cell outlines or tiny little structures, for example, uh, from uh, uh, paramecia, cilia from paramecia, or any other structures which are overlooked by the simple bright field observation. How is dark field achieved? Dark field is achieved by inserting a so-called central stop into the ray path. This central stop is a simple piece of metal which is mounted here in a slider, in this case in a turret solution, and it is going to eliminate all the direct light which passes the sample and will go to the microscope. Only the light that passes this ring-shaped slot will enter the sample. But thanks to the condenser optics, it will miss the front lens of the microscope. So at the end, we will have a dark background. And similar to the uh, polarization contrast, but of course on a completely different setup. Only the light that is influenced by the sample will be displayed as a bright phenomenon on a dark background. If I'm talking about a, a bright phenomenon on a dark background, this does not mean that we simply have an inverted image, means bright becomes dark, dark becomes bright. This would give no, no additional information to you. But, as I said before, the dark field is to emphasize border structures to, to uh, emphasize uh, tiny little structures which are overlooked by the bright field observation, tiny structures like cilia of paramecia and any other kind of biological, for example, samples. For applying the slider solution in our BA210, respectively 310 models, first please remove the protection screw at the end of the slider. Then you have to remove the dust cover of the condenser because you have to push in the slider into the slot of the condenser. So once you have achieved a maximum darkness of the background, please have a closer look on those tiny little structures that you like to observe. And have a look on the surrounding of those structures. The surrounding should be with homogeneous brightness. If not, please take these Allen keys, which are integral part of the package, of the, face, uh, of the dark field package, push it into the slider and move the central stop up to the point where the illumination, where the border of those cells or cilia or whatever is hom homogeneously illuminated. Then take away the Allen keys. Dark field is set up. There are two more comments left to be made about this kind of simple dark field in combination with objectives. The first one is that you can use only objectives up to a numerical aperture of 0.65, means in general the maximum will be the 40 times plan acromat. Any other objective with a higher numerical aperture will not allow to create a dark background. Please note that the dark field procedure is extremely sensible to dust, fingerprints and any other kind of dirt on your sample. So please be careful that you have a really a clean sample so that you do not destroy the aesthetic uh, impression of the dark field. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you some helpful information. More information you can find on our website www.moticeurope.com and of course you find us on YouTube channel. You're invited to visit us on our social media platforms. Thanks again for your attention. <music>